this is the second in the series of the lectures that are, or the discussions rather as I love to put it as, on uh, listening skills. And uh, as I've been telling you over the, over the days and over the years that uh, I personally believe that, uh, uh, I sincerely believe that uh, the years are our best teachers. Uh, a few uh, months ago, I think a couple of months ago, I had written a thought that I kept quiet and the world became my teacher. That means that there should be more emphasis on listening rather than uh, speaking. And this particular uh, idea that I, uh, I wanted to share with you is uh, something which is called eye contact. Uh, eye contact is a major part in listening. I always give this example of... Uh, Satya Meva Jayate to my students in which I found that this gentleman named Amir Khan, uh, you may support him, you may oppose him, but a person cannot be totally negative all the time, a person cannot be totally positive all the time. Uh, so there are certain things that we can learn from every single person. Uh, and uh, this is uh, something very interesting that whenever he spoke to his audience in uh, uh, Satya Meva Jayate, uh, I found out personally that he gives them a lot of importance, he give them, gives them uh, uh, a lot of uh, time and a lot of attention and that makes the person believe that uh, he or she is the, is the queen or the king of the world. Uh, and eye contact comes uh, as a major part over here. He used to look at people like this, you know. and. Eye contact is something that uh, actually determines whether you're confident or not, whether you're earnest or not, whether you're attentive or not. And it is actually good that you uh, have an eye contact with the person straight away and hold that gaze, hold that look uh, throughout. In that way, uh, your confidence is exhibited and at the same time, you are able to <clears throat> impress upon the, the speaker uh, that, you know, you are listening to him or her very, very attentively. But there is an issue over here. For example, if a person is not, uh, you know, confident and he or she is shy, then it's fine that you hold the gaze for a, for a few seconds and then you switch over to other things like say for an example you can do this you can do this and you can do this so different kinds of gestures and postures actually help to instill confidence in the speaker so eye contact is a major part now uh, this particular idea is different when you are into group communication you know that is a different trick but in interpersonal communication, it is always important to use your eye contact in the most judicious manner. And that is why it is important to look at the eyes of the person. As I said, it serves two objectives, exhibits your confidence and instills that confidence in the, in the, in the speaker that you are very attentively listening to the speaker. Fine? So, uh, when we come into group discussion part, we'll discuss eye contact from a different perspective and that has uh, another set of uh, rules, in fact. 